I was raised in the South to two incredible parents. I had an older brother. He was three years older than me. He was so many things, but he also struggled with deep depression and addiction his whole life. At 19, he went to be with the Lord. After that, nothing was the same. People didn't talk about mental illness. They didn't talk about depression. It was so hidden. And because of that, it was a really hard landscape to heal in. I suppressed it. In my late teens and early 20s, it started manifesting as anxiety. On my way to work, one day I was on the L train and it gets stuck underground and I have a meltdown, just absolute meltdown and was crippled by panic. And after that, I, I couldn't ride the train at all. In the back of my mind, I knew that God didn't want me to live a life of avoidance and a life of workaround. So I still desperately wanted healing in that area. When I started going to C3 in 2018, I really had the, for the first time in my life an understanding of community. And as I met more people and heard their stories and heard their deep, deep traumas and just the different places that God has pulled them out of, I started feeling more comfortable with mine. And I no longer felt like it had to be hidden, that it was actually given to me for a reason. And because of that, I felt comfortable giving God my anxiety. And he started healing many ways. Um, I no longer felt generally anxious, but I still, avoided the train. So when Pastor Lucas Connell came, I heard he was a healer and I went. He had an altar call for anyone struggling with anything, but specifically with anxiety. And I find myself at the very front, along with many other people. And, and he puts his hand on the top of my head and I'm, I'm just praying and I'm like, I just want to be free from this. I just want to be free from it. And I don't want to be marked by anxiety anymore. And I hear God say, I didn't promise you there wouldn't be a fire, but I promised you I'd be right there with you in it. <laughs> and I'm right here with you. And I'm right beside you. And that's the first time that I actually believed it. And I've heard it all my life. I've even told other people that, like, God's right there with you. <laughs> but it was the first time that I realized that His grace and His healing is actually available to me. And something shifted that, that moment. And the next day, I got on the train and I rode it. And not only did I ride it, I felt complete peace. Just the way that God's restored my family after deep trauma has been so beautiful and now I'm seeing it in my own life. And I do have anxious thoughts. I'm no longer marked by anxiety and I no longer actually have it. And from that day, I started knowing that I actually just have the authority and the power and the dominion to just tell those thoughts to go because they're not welcome in my life anymore. It's a story of instant healing, but it's also a story of continued healing. And every day I'm learning a little bit more about how to do that and how to give that to God and how to really trust Him. And He doesn't need to prove anything to me, but um, the healing is just there and I just have to take it. Healing's available to you and it's gonna be uncomfortable to take it and it's gonna be a life different than what you're used to, but he doesn't intend for us to struggle and to just make it through. And I believe that he's given me my story and the very clear evidence of that in my life so that I can bring other people there.